What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. Today we're taking a look at the player of the week. And obviously I'm doing a lot of player reviews, so I hope you guys enjoy them. I'm trying to get through them as quickly as possible. We have Argentina, Brazil uh, already done. We will be doing France and Japan, and we are also going to be doing the nominating contracts. Uh, yeah, there's just so many, man. There's so many packs, but we are going to be getting a couple here. We are also going to be live streaming as well later. Uh, so it is going to be something that we do where we'll be doing it in real time. So if you missed the live stream, make sure and check it out and watch it back later on. So today we have got the player of the week. Uh, yeah, I mean, all these guys are the finished articles. They're all on A form. I would say my pick of them is Garnacho. He's super sub. Uh, he's got first time shot, long range curler. He's also got 90 acceleration and 87 speed with 83 dribbling, but 76 finishing. So yeah, as a United fan, I'm definitely going to be trying to get Garnacho, absolute beast with the super sub. The rest of the players that you have on this, we've got Keane as a center forward. I'm not talking about Roy Keane or Robbie Keane. We've got this guy uh, who plays for Juve. And he's got some nice stats. He has got inconsistent form, which is a bit of a worry, even though he's on A rating. Uh, but we do have speeding bullet, long ranger, and obviously his 90 team play style proficiency for everything as well. Speed 90, 82 acceleration, kick and power and heading are quite decent. Finishing and dribbling, not bad either. But yeah, there are a lot of better center forwards there. I mean, if you are going spinning for this, lads, I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend you spinning if you don't have Kimmich. I think he's the best right back in the game. I think his pace, his passing, his ability on the ball and his tackling and aggressiveness is un like it's unmatched as a right back. I know Cancelo is a beast as well, but with the unwavering form and all these player skills, I think the version of Kimmich I have, which was from the Bayern Munich pack, I think it's the best right back. And then you can also throw him up right mid as well, or center mid, kind of like out wide. And he just does a job for you as well. He has saved me more times than not. He is an offensive full back. I think if you are going to be going after this pack, this is the guy to actually go for. Definitely, I think he's the pick of him. But then you've got Tony Cruz, who, with the way V2.2 is now, and the passing and the first time uh, shooting and first touches are a lot more, like, uh, prevalent, rather than just being kind of like touch and go, touch and go, touch and go speed fest, I think Cruz could be an option as well. That 90 ball control, as well as 93 pass, is incredible. Kick and power 86 is extremely good as well. The set piece taken, never too worried about that because you should have a really good free kick taker in your squad. Speed-wise and defensiveness, yeah, he's not going to be the best for that. But again, you should have this guy as a kind of a, a bonus player, um, a luxury item with Tony Cruz here. Otavio, he obviously made the, the Portuguese squad. I don't really know too much about this guy. He does play for Porto. He's got unwavering form. I've heard good things about him. I've watched a couple of YouTube clips on him. I don't watch much Portuguese football unless it's Benfica because I love Rafa Silva and I watch all his highlights every week. But uh, yeah, this guy's got incredible skills again. I think this guy could be one of the kind of hidden gems of this because he has got pinpoint crossing and he has also got early crosser here. And look at that lofted pass, 83. And with the new kind of power driven crosses in, I definitely think this guy could be meta, um, the new meta. And also on top of that, lads, as a right midfielder, he's got 86 defensive engagement and 80 aggression. And then you don't need to worry about his pace, his passing or his dribbling. Like it's just all solid across the board. So yeah, very interesting card as well. Nuno Mendes, don't need to say too much about this guy. If you don't have Roberto Carlos and you don't have Alfonso Davies left back, I definitely think he is the, the third best left back in the game. He's got a wavering form. I had him in my first division uh, run through where I got to division one and I only, only kind of like uh, stopped using him when I got Carlos and then obviously when I got uh, Davies towards the end of it. But he was a monster man and I hadn't even him trained up fully. He doesn't have a blocker, which is a bit of a pity, uh, but all the rest of his stats are quite solid. And because he plays with PSG and because he's going to be playing for Portugal in the World Cup, you would imagine that his A rating is going to stay around that A or B. So that's stamina, the speed, the dribbling. He kind of plays like a winger, but he does have 72 offensive awareness and 75 tackling as well as 70 engagement. So that is quite decent as well. He does have pinpoint cross speeding bullet and early crosser as his two playing styles and the player skill pinpoint crossing as I said there and interception is quite handy as well we've already covered Garnacho and Keane Bokima so this guy plays for AZ again uh, he's just a fairly standard centre back lads he's very tall but again that speed and acceleration 
His aerial ability, there are a lot of better centre-backs out there. In my personal opinion, I think if you're going to get in this guy, you'll probably be a bit unlucky uh, because he doesn't even have player styles and he only he doesn't have blocker. He only has heading and man marking, which isn't the worst. But yeah, he has a build-up as a player style. Uh, so unless you're really badly stuck, I wouldn't be bothering. Uh, Zeko as well. Again, this guy's got 90 offensive awareness. Physical contact is 91. Kicking power, 81. With 87 finishing and 85 heading. Or the other way around. Sorry, lads, I'm mixing it up. 85 finishing and 87 heading. Um, standard form, but on A rating, as usual, with all these players this week. Very good player skills. Very good height. Not the fastest, but if you are going to be playing him as a target man, I would definitely kind of keep him in reserve. Uh, I have Morientes for that role that I kind of bring him in off the bench. He doesn't have super sub, though, which is a bit of a pity. Castiles, the Belgian uh is 30 years of age 197 he is a giant of a man 83 goalkeeper reflexes with unwavering form he also has long throw and low punt which is quite decent penalty saver which might you know save you a match once or twice uh yeah very good card but the reflexes is a bit of a worry that's what i would say about that i would definitely check out oliver can this year you get him for free on the shop uh tony we skipped over him by accident sorry lads unwavering form a this guy again is very similar to romario if you've got romario you don't need to worry too much about it but tony is kind of like a cheap version of romario obviously if you get him as a fox in the box romario is i uh, you know romario is romario but this guy plays like him or he plays like lataro martinez uh, that you can train up as well and he's in the argentinian pack as well martinez but yeah, a very decent player, 86 offensive awareness, 81 finishing, 81 speed and acceleration, 89 jumping and 84 heading. So even though he's not the, the tallest player, he's well able to get up in the air. And then last but not least, we do have Odegaard. So Odegaard is a very, very kind of luxury item as well, I would say. Uh, similar to Tony Cruz, similar to Modric, he's not going to have the engine on him. Even though he has 82 acceleration as an, a centre midfielder, it's quite decent. I would play him as an AMF. If you don't have Messi or Neymar on as your AMF or somebody like that, if you don't want to have a workman-like uh, kind of way of playing, uh, I definitely think you could get Odegaard in there to carve open passes and just, you know, completely dictate the play. So, uh, yeah, again, like, if if you are looking at Odegaard, I mean, they definitely need to improve that face, man. That scan is, is, is shocking. He looks like that doll, Chucky. Do you know the Chucky doll? Uh, the serial killer doll. But, yeah, he's a very decent card. I mean, this is what you're getting with him. Like, it's... Uh, it's a very, it's a very decent, uh, a very decent uh, card. Sorry, I'm getting messages in there. Sorry, lads. Um, but yeah, it is a very decent card if you are looking for a centre midfielder and to have somebody like that. Do I still prefer Pedri? Probably. But if I spun for him, which I probably will do later because we've got a couple of free coins, I would probably be happy enough with getting him. So yeah, I would like out of that Nuno Mendes, Garnacho, uh, Tony, Odegaard or Kimmich. Well, I already have Kimmich, so I'd probably take Cruz out of that. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you guys in a bit. Hope you enjoy these reviews. Check out the live stream. We've gone live in a while or else I maybe I've already gone live depending on when this is. Uh, but yeah, talk to you in a bit, lads. Peace.